What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you what the slope intercept form is and how you use it to graph an equation. So you've probably learned a few different ways to graph a straight line by now, and this is just another one, okay? So the equation, the slope intercept form equation, is y is equal to mx plus b. Now, the two main things about this equation that you need to know are the m and the b, okay? So first of all, the m is your slope, okay? So whatever number right here that you see next to the x, this is always gonna be your slope, okay? And if you remember, the slope is simply equal to the rise over the run, okay? Now, the other important part of this formula is this b right here. So this b represents your y-intercept, okay? And all the y-intercept is is where your graph touches the y-axis. Okay, so let's do a few examples and then I think this is gonna start making a lot more sense. So let's say you were asked to graph this line right here. Y is equal to one third X plus Y. So the way you would use the slope intercept equation is again, there's two main things you need to notice. So again, whatever number is right here next to the X, this is your slope, okay? And then again, whatever number is right here at the very end, is your y-intercept. Okay, so first of all, let's graph the y-intercept because that's actually easier to graph. So if your y-intercept is at positive five, that just means you're gonna come to your y-axis and put a point at positive five. Okay, that's all you gotta do. And now in order to deal with the slope right here, uh, let's write it out really quick. So the slope, if you remember, is equal to the rise, over the run, right? And in this case, our slope is one over three. So it's gonna be one over three, okay? So this means we're gonna go up one spot and then over to the right, three spots, okay? And we're gonna apply this slope starting at our point right here. We're gonna go up one and then over three. So one, two, three. Okay, so then we just found another point that runs through our graph. And in order to graph a straight line, all you need is two points. Okay, so all you have to do is draw a straight line between those two points right there. Okay, so then this line right here represents this equation. Y is equal to one third x plus five. Okay, not too bad, right? Let's try a few more examples. Okay, so here's the equation y minus 2x is equal to negative 3. Now, if you want to graph this using the slope-intercept equation, remember the equation is y is equal to mx plus b, right? So as you can see, y is by itself on one side of the equal sign. Uh, but that's not the case here, right? We have y and this minus 2x on the same side of the equal sign. So in order to put it into slope-intercept form, all you have to do is move this minus 2x over to the other side. Okay, so in order to do that, all you have to do is add 2x to both sides, right? So then this minus 2x and this plus 2x cancel out. So we're just left with y on this side of the equal sign. And then we're going to have y is equal to negative 3 plus 2x, right? Negative 3 plus 2x. Okay, but if we want to put it in slope-intercept form, this term right here with the x has to go first. So actually, you have to flip these two. So I'm going to put positive 2x first, positive 2x, and then minus 3 at the end. Okay, so now it's in slope-intercept form. Okay, and remember the two main things you want to look for are your slope, which is this number that's next to the x, and your y-intercept, which is this number at the very end. Okay. So again, uh, graphing the y-intercept is kind of the easier part, so let's do that first. So we're just gonna graph a point along the y-axis at negative three, okay, which is right here, okay? And then our slope right here is two, right? And I'll write it out right here. So the slope is equal to two, right? But your two right here, you wanna write it as a fraction, as two over one, okay? 
And you want to do that because, well, the definition of a slope is also a fraction, right? It's rise over run. Okay, so starting from the point that we just graphed right there, we're going to go up 2 and then over 1. Okay, so starting from this point, we're going to go up 1, 2, and then over to the right in a positive direction, 1. Okay, so now we just found another point along our graph. Okay, so we found two points, so now we can just draw a straight line between them. Like that. Okay, extend this a little bit. Okay, so then this line right here represents this equation, or we could write it as the original equation, same thing. y minus 2x is equal to negative 3, or we could write it as how we changed it, y is equal to 2x minus 3. Okay, either one. All right, let's just try a couple more. Okay, so here is the next example. So it's y is equal to negative 4 thirds x plus 13 halves. Okay, so again, the number that is next to the x is your slope. And don't forget to include the negative sign right there. And then this number at the very end is your y-intercept. So your y-intercept is at positive 13 halves. And 13 halves, it's probably easier to just turn that into a mixed fraction. Okay, so 2 goes into 13 six times, and then we would have a remainder of 1, right? So then, and then you just put whatever number at the bottom you had here at the bottom right there. So that's a quick way of doing it in case you didn't know. So 13 halves is the same thing as 6 and 1 half, okay? So let's plot that point along our y-axis really quick. So 6 and a half would be right there, okay? And now let's take care of our slope. So our slope is negative 4 thirds. So let's write it out right here. The slope is equal to negative 4 thirds. Now, whenever you have a negative slope like this, you either want to throw the negative sign to the top or the bottom, but not both, okay? So you either want to write it as negative 4 over positive 3, or you want to write it as positive 4 over negative 3, okay? Either one of these slopes will work, okay? But you can't have a negative sign on both the 4 and the negative 3, right? Because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So this would be positive 4 thirds, right? Which is obviously not the same thing as negative 4 thirds, right? So to avoid doing that, just make sure you put the negative sign on the top or the bottom, okay? So in this case, let's just use this one right here. We could use this one or this one, doesn't matter, but we'll just use this first one. So in this case, remember the top number is your rise, and the bottom number is your run, okay? So in this case, we're gonna go, remember, starting from our point, we're gonna go down four spaces, and then we're gonna go over to the right, to the positive side, three spaces, okay? So again, we're gonna go, starting from our point, we're gonna go down one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna go over three. One, two, three. Okay, so we just found another point that runs through our graph. So now we have our two points. Now we can just draw our straight line between them. Okay, so this line right here represents this equation right here. Y is equal to negative 4 thirds X plus 13 halves. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.